Hey guys, I'm Kevin, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod 2G with Red Snow Lite. This is a tethered version, so whenever you turn off your iPod, you're going to have to connect it to a computer to reboot it into jailbreak state. This is a Windows tutorial, by the way. Alright, first part, you need to download Cywood. I'll give you, I'll post a link in the more info box so you can download it. You'll also need to find, or you can download your iPod 2.21 IPSW file, which is basically a firmware. Alright, so once you have the Cywood file, wait, before that, I'm going to show you my iPod. This is unjailbroken right now. I've jailbroken it like four times because I kept messing up, well, data and stuff. Alright, this is 2G, you can see by the volume rocker and the rounded Wi-Fi thing. Okay, so we're going to start the tutorial. So, you have the Cywood file. You can extract it. Takes a while. This should be your firmware bundles and stuff. Alright, so you have the main application, so you launch it. So Cywood Jailbreak Helper.exe. I didn't make this. It's all Cywood's work. And Red Snow Lite is a product of the iPhone dev team, so I take no credit in anything. I'm just showing you how to use it. Alright, so you get this little it's a graphic user interface or GUI for short. So you get to this thing, right? It has two options. One, install lib USB file. You have to install this for it to work. And then you also have to install redistribution package. For the sake of this tutorial, I've already installed both of them. So we can continue to the next step. So you got to find where you put... you Once you download the IPSW file from the link I sent, you must find it. Okay, so mine is right here, but... And then, once you select it, you click Start Making IPSW File. This will transform into a jailbreak IPSW. And for the sake of this tutorial, I've already done it for you. It takes five minutes, so I'm not going to redo it again. Okay, so next step. Put your iPod in DFU mode. DFU mode is when you hold the sleep-wake button and the home button for 10 seconds, and then you let go of the sleep button, and then keep holding on the home button. You should hear a the USB sound thing. So I'm going to do it. So holding 10 seconds. Okay, did you hear that sound? Now you let go. And you hear it again. So now you know your iPod is in DFU mode. So there's another option. Upload DFU file. So you just simply click this. It uploads, and then you click Upload Own Bin Patch. Now, you're going to want to disconnect your iPod cable really fast. This causes the screen to go white, which is good, like what the picture says. See? Look, it looks exactly the same, only this is like five times bigger. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. Alright, this part is the somewhat manual but like it's really simple so you just click this simple button and up pops a command prompt and you simply right click and paste because he already entered all the information so you just wait for it to do its thing waiting and waiting it's still wait Sorry if this is really boring. I might just cut this out later. Okay, so we're done with this. Now you're going to have to open up your iTunes. Where is it? Okay. And you... Okay. Something went wrong. Okay. Now, you shift, click, restore. Okay. Remember back in step one, you created an IPSW file? It should now be named Jailbroken IPSW. If you can't see that, it's right there. You just select a, your patched IPSW file and you open it. It's basically like when you restore, your iPod restores the firmware. So, yeah. I'm probably going to cut this part out too. takes a long time mm -hmm. 
Your iPod, the white screen should have been gone by now. And your iPod is preparing to restore, as you can see. Okay, after it's done restoring, you may think it's over, but no. It just, your iPod just dies on you. But that's totally normal. Alright, let's move on. So, step five. It says, put your iPod in DFU mode again. So you're going to want to hold the button, the sleep wake, and the home button for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds is good enough. Okay, now you let go. And you hold it until you hear the USB sound. There you go. Now you can let go. Just like before, you click on the upload DFU file right here. Okay, wait, you gotta click that OK button. So you upload DFU file. And now you click the other button, which is Upload Own Patch Bin. Now you're going to want to disconnect your iPod really fast. And a white screen again. That's good. That's, that's really good. Alright, next step six. So, just like before, there's a... It's really annoying. Okay, just like before, there's a Press Me button. You click this button, and up pops a command prompt. Just like before, you right click and you click paste. And you wait until it finishes running the command prompt. Okay, so you're done running command prompt, it's still white, you click next step. Now there's four buttons. One of them says upload patch DFU file. That's the first button. You press it. Then there's a second button that says enter go and slash exit. So you click this button. Up pops a command prompt. And you have to type manually on your keyboard go. Just G-O. And then slash exit. Okay. And then you click the third. Oh my god, it's annoying. Then there's a third button that says upload patched image file. Click this, something pops up, and then you click the fourth button that says enter go slash exit again. So you do the same thing one more time. This time your iPod should show an Apple logo. And it says connect to iTunes. Now you've successfully jailbroke your iPod. See if you slide to unlock. Dismiss. What do you know? Cydia. You can't see. It looks like a little brown thing. Yeah. Okay. Now to the next part. This is the downside about... Wait, let me enter some information about my iPod. Okay, so, this is the downside of the Red Snow Tether jailbreak. See, if you turn it all the way off, you won't be able to turn it back on. Yeah, I know, it sucks, totally. But thankfully, some good people made a tool called One Boot Tool which helps you boot your iPod after you turn it off. So you just download the file, I'll put a link to it. You open oneclickboot.exe and it says waiting for an iPod in DFU mode. So same routine, 8 seconds. And then you let go. And if you look closely, it will go on a white screen, and it will be running commands. And Apple will click something saying you must restore. Just ignore that. White screen. And there you go. The iPod should now reboot in jailbroke mode. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any problems, I'll try to fix it. Alright? See ya.